And I always say, instead of asking yourself, why am I attracting the wrong people? Ask yourself, why am I attracted to the wrong people? Many people go through situations in relationships that end up with them asking themselves, why do I always attract the wrong people? I often get this from, mostly from women who say, why am I attracting the wrong guys? But I get it from everybody. And I always say, instead of asking yourself, why am I attracting the wrong people? Ask yourself, why am I attracted to? the wrong people. So when you change the question in a way that's not trying to figure out what's wrong with someone who's outside of you, you are reflecting on your own self. What is it about me that makes me gravitate towards people who end up being bad for me? And when you shift it that way, then you have power instead of giving power to those people who are walking into your life or, or who you are welcoming into your life. It's more like, why am I allowing them into my life instead of why are they coming into my life? So it's, it's much more powerful when you change the question. Why am I attracted to people who are wrong for me? And the reason that usually happens is that we gravitate towards what's familiar. So say, for example, you had an abusive parent growing up and you just don't have a clear understanding of what love looks like. Maybe you've defined love throughout the years as abuse, as um, someone being absent and not present, as you working hard to get their love or to get their attention. And so you just get used to it. You've formed an idea of love and connection that's wrong to begin with but as a child you don't know that but you grow with this idea of what love looks like and so even when you're an adult when you can think to yourself that's actually not love when you experience it with someone if it's the same as what you've experienced before it feels comfortable because it's familiar You've experienced it before. And we as humans go towards what's comfortable and familiar before we go towards the unknown. So when you get someone in your life who actually treats you properly and respects you, that doesn't feel comfortable because it's not familiar. You're not used to it. It's new. Even though in your brain you know that's right, that's usually when you say, but there was no spark. There was no attraction, but that's not what it is. It's just that they're giving you something that you're not used to receiving. So that's why you are attracted to people who end up being wrong for you, because that that um, attraction that you feel that the, the butterflies, the the ups and downs of like feeling so passionate about being being around someone getting their attention um, in the wrong way uh, as you were used to growing up for example that feels like that's a spark but it's not that's stress it's kind of like someone uh, breaking you down so they could build you up and you get high on that building up um, then they break you down again and then you get high on that build up again. Instead of having someone who's consistent with you, which is scary. It scares you because you're not used to it. So I hope that this helps. And I hope that the next time someone treats you with the love and respect that you would tell a friend of yours, that's the kind of love that you deserve. I hope that you give yourself the chance to start accepting that love because that's the love that you do deserve so 
start actually actively telling yourself that you want to be attracted to people who treat you right and love you right because those are the people who deserve all of your love and attention.